everybody what's up welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is bianca if you're always here welcome back it is monday and i'm alone colin is visiting his best friend jimmy he's in the military but he's home for the weekend so colin is going to see him because he literally never sees him and yeah i'm starting off this monday alone i just did my whole little morning routine i was listening to podcasts from alexa if you're wondering what that is i just got my birth control next one on bar out of my arm um because it literally destroyed me <laughs> and yeah if you guys want i can do a more in-depth video of like my full symptoms and like why i was like adamant about getting it out so bad because it was just something i've never experienced before but i can yeah i can do a full video on that let me know if you want that left in the comments because i've kind of like sprinkled some stuff here and there in some um vlogs of like why i got it out but there is actually a lot more to the story <laughs> so yeah if you guys want me to do like that full video let me know i go to the gym and do back and buys tries then i have an orange theory class at eight and then we're coming back here and this coming Wednesday, we leave for Grand Cayman. So I've got like two days to prep and pack. I honestly don't really feel that prepared for this trip, but it is okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very, very excited though. I can't believe we're leaving in two days. That's wild. I'm gonna show you guys my gym outfit and then we're gonna go to the gym. So you guys know Energy Longline sports bras are like my absolute favorite. So here's this and then, okay, hold on. My Gymshark sweatshirts are on my waist because it was really cold. Um, but then, yeah, okay, anyways. I'm wearing these leggings from Gymshark. I think they're super underrated. They're so, so, so comfortable. I really like them. Can we also take like slight note that my quads are totally growing? And I've been really hardcore focusing on quads this year at least the past couple months like specifically and so i'm just yeah i'm just really proud and then um i don't know if you guys missed it but in the last vlog we kind of like finished our shiplap wall our room is a disaster from that um just because we had to move a bunch of things around and stuff so my goal is to get that cleaned today too so yeah we got a fun monday coming here but i'm gonna go drive to the gym i actually it's way earlier than i usually leave mainly because colin takes so long to get ready so i'm ready to go we're gonna have a really good workout and hopefully there's no traffic since i'm leaving so early see what i mean they make your butt just look really good but also the front is like super tight and not that compressing so i really only wear them on days when i don't feel like mega bloated you know what i mean i'm just being honest okay hoodie on we're gonna go to the gym i also need to definitely wash my hair today so yeah it's bad get to the gym i've been sitting here for like a minute because <laughs> i'm trying to let my pre-workout like kick in but now my hands are starting to like itch and stuff so i think i'm gonna head in it's 6 um 38 so yeah i don't usually leave um for orange theory until like 7 40 but i'll probably just end up leaving like a little bit early i'm always stuck in traffic anyway so i should probably leave by like 7 30 instead so yeah back buys and tries all right just got done working out currently en route to orange theory it's very dark this morning very very cloudy not my fave but i just looked up the weather because i looked a couple weeks ago mm, that was a lie i looked like a week ago and in grand came in it said it was gonna rain every day and in the middle of one of my sets i looked again and now it says sunny except for like maybe two days and the two days that aren't really invoked by hormones listening to the gold digger podcast by the way but the two days that are supposed to have rain have a very very low chance of rain it said so that is good but i realized that i never did the motivational question of the day since i'm not with colin i feel like i'm a little thrown off on my like schedule um so what we are gonna do that after i turn because there is a lot of cars coming and i feel like i should pay attention today is not necessarily a question but it's kind of more so i just wanted to kind of talk to you guys and last week i don't know if you've noticed but in the vlog um i said that i wasn't feeling good so i stopped filming one day and it's not necessarily that i wasn't feeling good i just was having a terrible day like and it, it like nothing happened it was just like 
I was having a bad day. Like, I was not being positive. I was being a negative Nancy. I was being very dramatic. My emotions were, like, getting to me. A bunch of things. Um, that did have something to do with my hormonal imbalance due to my cyst and my birth control getting my period all the time and it completely throwing me off and like making me pretty sick but um it was the day before I ended up getting my bar out or two days before and I had just honestly reached breaking point I think and I was just so 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 upset so I stopped filming and all this stuff and I was just being so negative and basically not being thankful for like the things I have or grateful for anything and it's not necessarily like that I was just honestly just having like a hard time <laughs> so um since getting my birth control bar out I do f actually feel like freaking 10 times better which is kind of crazy um but I'm assuming that's just because my hormones and stuff are starting to regulate again but um Colin had a conversation with me so that's why I kind of wanted to talk to you guys because like yes you're allowed to have bad weeks and yes you're allowed to be upset but um something that bothers me is when people complain about something and don't do anything to fix it and don't do anything positive to like add positive like reinforcement or like change anything and that's basically what I was doing so I was being like my least favorite person ever um and I was just kind of like self-loathing and really really if you're okay going back to like the enneagram test if you are a type one perfectionist um we bought this book called the path between us but it basically says that we are very very hard on ourselves and that's basically just what i was doing um and i was like just honestly just tearing myself apart like one bit by bit and now that I'm like past that week and it's like a new week I'm realizing that and after Colin had this conversation with me I'm realizing that one that's like super unhealthy to do so that's why last week I had a question being like why are you awesome because technically I was just trying to pick myself up um but anyways he had this conversation with me and he was like talking just about our morning routine and uh, he said that I should try every morning when I wake up just saying like I'm so thankful for what I have and I'm so thankful for how far I've come and we have this amazing apartment we have such a good relationship I have such a great family I have such great friends um, I love my career I um, just am so thankful for where I am and how hard I've worked to get there before you even think about what you have to do that day or what I need to be doing he's like you can think about that but think about that later in the day but when you first wake up you need to put yourself in such a positive healthy mindset and I'm pretty sure all last week I did not do that like one bit because I was just like pissed off at the world last week and like I just was going through something last week y'all but um yeah, so this morning, I mean, he wasn't there, but that's exactly what I did is I woke up and I did that and I'm literally in such a better mental state and I think that that's so important. So I just wanted to share because if you ever find yourself like just having a bad week, just try, like seriously, just try waking up and just laying there like no phone, do not touch your phone in the morning. Okay, you can turn your alarm off or whatever you need to do. Then you're going to be thinking about all these things that you need to do or what you wish you were doing or you wish you looked like somebody else because, like, you can't even tell me that that is not what happens. And just camera sliding, camera sliding. Just, I'm so early. I can't believe it didn't take that long to get here today. Anyways, just lay in bed. Think about how grateful you are. Think about how, how far you've come. Think about the people who have helped you get there where my camera's bouncing and how thankful you are for them think about how thankful you are for how hard you work think about how thankful you are that you have privileges that other people don't have you know like just like sit there and truly like be thankful for all these things and let me know if you feel better throughout the day or if you feel like you're in a more positive mindset and I honestly don't even look at my phone or go on social media until like 10 a.m. So, just saying, you should try it. It could change your life and change your mentality. That's my little tea for today. I literally can't believe it took me like so fast to get here. Okay, well I'm gonna sit my car now. Keep listening to my podcast. If you ever wanna be like completely and truly inspired, I 10 out of 10 recommend listening to the Gold Digger podcast. I wear my parking, I don't know. Okay.
I'm looking in the Orange Theory. There's this guy who takes class. His name is... Okay, are my contacts in the wrong eyes or like what? Anyways, there's this guy that goes to Orange Theory. He's a ex-pro basketball player. His name's like Anwar or something like that. Antoine, I don't know. I take class with him like all the time. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's looking at me looking at my... Um, talking to my camera. So that's good. Okay, I'm gonna definitely go take Orange Theory now. Back in the car. All right, so I really wish I still had access to the Orange Theory templates, like back when I coached, because then I knew what day it was, but uh, now I don't. So I'm coming here like a complete surprise, which is kind of fun, but also today was a 23 minute specialty crew row, and I had no idea that that was today. So my butt, I can't feel it, but it's okay. I'm glad I went. I just feel really dizzy. <laughs> I need to go home and eat. I think that was rough. I absolutely hate the rower. I know how to row. Everyone's like, once you know how to row correctly, you'll love the rower. Yeah, I haven't experienced that yet, but I like the treadmill. <laughs> Alexa, connect to my phone. Connected to Bianca's iPhone. I'm Sarah, otherwise known as Sarah's Day, and I'm a health and fitness YouTuber. <laughs> showered and gotten ready for the day I'm gonna show you guys my outfit in one second but first I just got a package in from Ana Luisa jewelry so I wanted to unbox that for you guys first so you guys know I pretty much like to wear basic simple minimal jewelry um, that's why I love Ana Luisa because that's pretty much um, everything they have and plus I wanted to show you guys the box that it comes in because it is so cute Here's what the box looks like. It's a roll-up, but I'm trying not to show you guys my uh, address. But it is so cute. And then here's the jewelry at the top. And also this right here in the middle says, Life has beautiful moments, and this is one of them. I just think that their packaging is so cute. And then, yeah, you just pull that off. But I will have um, in the description box the link to Ana Luisa's website. And also, if you use the code Bianca10, you can get 10% off of your order. But let me show you what I got. I love this company too because all their jewelry is super sustainable. It comes in the cutest little bags. And they also use 100% recycled gold um, in their jewelry, which I appreciate. And they're all extremely reasonable prices, especially because some jewelry companies charge you like 10 times the cost of production. And they like to keep their prices fair. So I love them. But first things first, I ended up getting a couple rings. So let me show you these. I love rings. I was in desperate need of some new ones too so this is perfect literally so in love with this ring so it's got white around the center and then gold around the outside you guys know i'm a gold jewelry gal so here's what it looks like on my hand by the way i don't know if you care to know but my ring size is a seven but this one's actually adjustable so that's nice so that's adorable and then also got this one so this is kind of like a braided style just super gold I love super simple jewelry so that is perfect those would even be like super cute stacked that one could even go on your pointer finger so yeah my um, ring finger is a size 7 and then if I want to put my other rings on different parts of my fingers I obviously just size up a little bit I also got a necklace so you guys know I'm into very very simple um, gold necklaces this one is literally perfect look at how pretty that is i cannot wait to wear this oh my goodness and i love the little beading around the necklace let me show you better and this is the perfect length too so necklaces that are about this length just my absolute favorite so it just looks like this it's kind of like the coin necklace all right oh that's so pretty look at how pretty that is 
Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, literally probably never gonna take this off forever. All right, and then I got one more ring. So I've been really into rings lately, just kind of like trying to spruce it up. Honestly, these are like my favorite rings. So if I'm gonna wear rings, it's gonna be from Ana Luisa. Look at this, look at how cute. I saw this and I like had to have it. I like how it has a flat top. I think that's really unique. I really haven't seen um, that much like that before. I do like that. See, look at how cute all those are together. Gold is literally my absolute favorite. Anyways, so that is what I got. Thank you so much, Annalisa, for sending me this and sponsoring this portion of today's video. And if you guys are interested, I know you'll love this jewelry. You can use my code Bianca10. It is in the description box and you can get 10% off of your purchase. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys my outfit and then we are gonna carry on with the video. Okay, so here is my outfit today. I'm just still wearing my new jewelry because I'm literally so hype about it. And then um, this top is from Princess Polly and I'm wearing my roll-ish jeans because your girl did laundry. So yeah, I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear yet, but this top from Princess Polly I got oversized because I wanted to do like a tie situation and I think that it looks so cute. So here's my outfit. I also think I'm gonna start doing more like Instagram outfit of the day post where it's just like super simple nothing crazy and I'm just like taking my picture in this mirror So let me know what you guys think because um, I don't know honestly It's easier for me and then two, you just get like more outfit posts instead of me like having to do a whole content day So let me know what you think and then also I got a notification that I have a parcel Pending and I think it's my new running shoes and I've been using this um, Too Faced lip injection stuff and I actually really like it. I feel like it's plumping my lips, but it could all be in my head because I'm bad about acknowledging things like that. But let me know what you think. I've put it on twice today now. Do they look plump? I don't know. So currently I have a video that is sponsored uploading and I have errands to run, but I need to submit this video. So I'm not gonna go anywhere until the video uploads so I can submit it because you guys know I like do that every day upload things. So if I don't get it submitted in time, for them to like review it in enough time it like might i can't upload <laughs> so therefore i'm looking for the scissors i just got a notification that we had a parcel pending and then i was in fact sure it was my tennis shoes so i'm going to open these up and let's check them out okay well there's like no good way to open this without you seeing my address so i'm just gonna face it that way and then Hope that you don't see it. Okay. Woo! All right. Sorry, all right. I feel like I get so many boxes all the time. Okay. I'm very excited. Oh my god. Wow, that was nice. Did you guys see that? How much is open? That was very satisfying. By the way, in my running shoes, I'm normally an eight if I'm just wearing like regular shoes, but in running shoes, I size up a half a size, so I get an eight and a half. You're gonna die when you see these. Okay. Let me come down. So listen, these are expensive. I looked on the website, I ordered them from Finish Line. I looked on the website every single day until they went on sale just a little bit for me to buy them. And then they did like a couple days ago. And it was just like they have like a coupon code that you could enter, so I did. How cute are these? Oh my god. I was just searching Adidas Ultra Boost, and then on Google, these came up and said they're from Finish Line, but I did not see them on the regular Adidas website. And oh my god, they're so cute. They have like this floral little tongue, which I really thought I was not gonna like, but I don't think I really mind. And yeah, so I got a size eight and a half. These are the new Ultra Boost too, I'm pretty sure. But I am so obsessed. Oh my God. I can't even, wow. I'm not even gonna wanna wear these. This is dangerous. I'm so happy right now though. Just in time for Grand Cayman, which is nice. And for, I don't even think I can wear them. You know when like you get something and you just don't even wanna wear them cause you just, they're just so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna have the link to those shoes down below. It is an affiliate link, so if you were to buy them, I would get a slight, small commission. Just letting you know. But I have put our towels in the washer, so I'm about to wash our towels. Colin's stuff is in the dryer, but 
I'm still gonna wash him. I don't even know what time he's coming back today. It's gonna be like later tonight. And I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to go to those stores that I wanna go to before we leave. I'm just a little stressed out. Um, just cause I just have a lot of things to do before we go. And I obviously need to prioritize work over shopping. So, um, yeah, it's just like a tad, tad bit stressful, but I'm gonna start washing those. Um, I accidentally messed up in my video that I was uploading, so I had to like cancel it, delete it, re-upload it, fix it, do all that stuff. So now I'm waiting for that. I do think I have another package coming today, and I pretty much started laying out clothes that I already had that I could bring to Grand Cayman. So a lot of it like is from Princess Polly and Urban. Um, this is like a top from Urban, a dress. That cute little top. This dress is super cute. It's from the brand Raga. Um, but I wore this in Cabo, if you guys remember. And then just some other things, but I don't know. I just really like new clothes for vacation, you know? It's just like a selfish little stubborn. Like, I just want a few new things, but I just didn't plan well enough. Totally my fault. It's fine, but um, yeah, I'm going to get my other row of hair extensions tomorrow and so I might just make my way over there tomorrow I feel like that makes more sense since I'm going over there anyway or like towards that like general vicinity of where those stores are so I might just go try tomorrow and cross my fingers and hope for the best but at least I have clothes so already so that's fine but yeah I don't know we'll see Guys, I'm not kidding when I say today is so weird and I'm like losing my mind. I literally forgot to put mascara on and then I just realized it so I put it on. It's so weird. Glad I haven't left the house yet. Finally just got up my weekend recap for you guys. If you don't know, I always do these so I can spend more time away from my phone on the weekends. And then they're always in this highlight on my Instagram called weekend recap right there. Okay, so I have another parcel pending, which I was expecting another package today. So I decided I'm gonna go get it, and also I have no meat, but I pretty much have everything else I need to make dinner. So I'm just gonna go to the grocery store quick too, and get, yeah, I'm gonna get some chicken, I think, and make that for dinner. And I'm gonna end up buying two, because I'm sure me and Colin are gonna need to get chicken tomorrow for dinner or something. I don't know, I'm trying to like brainstorm right now. It's confusing because I don't really buy too much food, but you can freeze chicken, so that's why I was like, I should buy chicken. But anyways, I'm gonna go get the parcel, go get stuff to make dinner, and then depending on what time Colin gets home tonight, I might, no, I'm still not gonna go. I was gonna say I might go to the store, but that doesn't make any sense because I'll be in that area tomorrow, so I should just go tomorrow. Yes, okay. okay first I had to get gas, but I, was gonna go to Whole Foods, but then Whole Foods doesn't have Celsius, apparently. Um, or at least I haven't been able to find Celsius at Whole Foods. So I decided to just drive to Harris Teeter instead. Plus, from like years and years and years ago, my family, when my parents were still married and all that stuff, had a home phone. And uh, our VIT card is through the home phone and you get like a serious discount at Harris Teeter with like VIT cards. So yeah all about the discount you know but i'm just gonna go get chicken and celsius and a regular potato and a sweet potato for dinner tomorrow and then i think we're good because i don't really want to eat out i'd rather just finish our food because we have some veggies and i really don't want them to go to waste that would be like painful you know the parcels that were pending were actually lack of color hats so they're right here if you guys I'm just gonna put you down so if you didn't know the hats that I wear all the time they're from the brand lack of color and I usually buy them from Princess Polly because influencers get discount codes and then you get a discount because they're pretty expensive Ow, I don't know my toe like is hurting really bad okay so anyways um I have a lack of color boater hat and then I also have a lack of color like fedora hat but I've always wanted to get the rancher hats and I thought that these would be perfect for fall plus you guys know I literally wear hats all the time which is how I justify buying these but I wear a size medium in their hats and then this one is the um I'm pretty sure yeah this one's the ivory rancher so it just looks just like that I'm sure you guys have seen this on like social media and stuff but I've always wanted this one so here's 
what it looks like and then I like to wear my hats like back a little bit you can wear them back you can wear them forward but that doesn't really look good on my head so yeah I always just wear them back if you're having like a gross greasy hair day but the bottom of your hair looks pretty good hats are literally perfect in my opinion so yeah just looks like that I'm so excited to wear this this one's kind of like tilted back a little bit because of oops the way it was in the box got another one in beige so this one's just a little bit darker but i thought that they would be seriously both perfect for fall and i can't wait to go put these on my um hat display thing oh these are so cute i'm so excited all right i really want to take them to grand cayman really bad okay so i just hung up the new hats on the wall I'm about to do an Instagram story though. I have to edit it first. I always edit my Instagram stories in Lightroom, but I need to figure out which way to do it. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should because I do a lot of things like this. Miss Colin a lot. Don't get me wrong. Really wish she was here. Separation anxiety just a little bit from being an only child. I can't help it. Okay. I don't like being alone. And I also really like Colin. Naturally. Hopefully. He's my boyfriend. But... I feel like I'm having a day with myself over here. I'm actually sweating. I need to change. But I'm cooking dinner, so I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. I boiled some chicken, so all you have to do is put some water in a pot, boil the water, put the chicken in. It usually cooks for like 15 to 16 minutes, depending on how high you're boiling it. You're just kind of going to like pull apart and check it. And then we have this pasta left over from the other night. So I'm just going to kind of like heat this up. I have some green beans in the oven. I need to put the other chicken in a Tupperware. I'll actually probably put it in the Tupperware from the pasta, but here's the shredded chicken. And then I'm just heating up some of like literally the last bit of our avocado oil. And then I'm just gonna like dump this in here. Okay. Me trying to do this one handed. Okay, I'm gonna wash that and then put the chicken in there. But so basically you just use a fork to pull apart the chicken it's so easy and then i'm going to add the chicken into there and then add the green beans and probably just like a little bit more pasta sauce and then mix it up and that's going to be my dinner i think i don't know why i said i think because this is definitely going to be my dinner i don't know sometimes i wonder about me my brain's kind of like not been working today don't know why planes in the night sky with you Getting high in the sunrise with you Getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing, no I do And I wish that I could do this Cause I moved on starting to make a spotify playlist for fall 2019 so i'll let you know when it's good <laughs> but colin found this song the other day first of all we still love gashi so if you haven't listened to gashi yet listen to roses and then listen to the rest of his songs like my year gets me really hyped for the gym i like him because he has like chill songs and songs that are amazing for the gym so like turn me down is good for the gym and my year is good for the gym but roses is really good just to like chill and listen to Spotify usually has like recommended songs other than like just those but then also there's this guy called Vori who Colin found too look up it's v-o-r-y look up literally right now on like Spotify or YouTube or whatever and um look up the song stay because we've been loving that that's kind of like the vibey music that we like to listen to but I'm gonna take me myself and my pasta over to the couch area and I just put it down I'm gonna move my shoes so I don't get pasta sauce on these babies. I'm literally terrified to wear this to Orange Theory because somebody messaged me and I definitely put two and two together um, before this, but basically the rower at Orange Theory destroys your shoes. Like it makes them very dirty. So I was a little sad about that. 
and those shoes are so cute and I knew that they were gonna be cute but they're just like really cute oh my god it's really steamy in here I'm gonna open up my porch yikes but oh it feels so nice outside I knew that they were gonna be really cute but now that they're like in my hands I can't wear them to Orange Theory so I'm debating on buying a whole nother pair and just wearing those for like everyday tennis shoes and then like working out my other pair that are darker i'm stupid and i make the mistake but literally they were so cute and i don't know if they're ever gonna have them again so i literally had to buy them i'm terrible at all my shopping i'm actually a very bad influence my goal in life is to be an influential influencer quote on taylor king she like put me on that and i was like girl you're so right she changed my life but i have a very bad shopping problem and i know like i absolutely know colin sex me Okay, I don't know what he's saying, but whew, I'm out of breath, and I'm going to eat before my food gets cold, but listen, look up those songs, and comment down below if I should buy a whole other pair of tennis shoes. <laughs> if you say yes, I'll do it. Okay, so I finished eating, and then I just sat there and did like some computer work for a little bit. I'm about to change into comfier clothes. By the way, this is from Princess Polly. Did I tell you guys that? I don't remember, but I'm going to change into comfier clothes, and literally have a cleaning party with me, myself, and I love that but this house is gross I mean it's not that gross but it's like pretty gross and I cannot leave to go out of the country and it'd be like a disaster so I'm gonna deep clean Khan's not even here yet it's like seven he hasn't even left he's like two hours away or probably three or four he's not gonna get back until later so I'm also not waiting for him like I have to get up very early tomorrow to get all my stuff done so yeah I'm just gonna like do some cleaning but change into comfy clothes do some cleaning and then get ready for bed i guess see when he comes back but anyways cleaning party with myself let's go i'm gonna like blast music so i'm gonna like end up time lapsing but first i must change because i can't clean and like uncomfortable clothes you know you. i miss you all the time i wish that i wish that i wish that you were mine I miss you, I miss you, I miss you all the time I wish that, I wish that, I wish that you were mine to give you guys kind of like an update on this birth control because I got um, new birth control you guys saw in my last vlog um, or a couple of vlogs ago. I got the Junel Fife, Junel Fave one, I don't really know. But so far I actually really do like it and I feel so much better. Like I really do think I should do this video on like what was actually like all of the things that were like the problem with the last birth control. But I'm literally taking it right now. <laughs> I take it every day at 8 o'clock. But I know that I have like a lot of issues going on. And like I've taken medicines. So that's why I feel better. But it's just like a lot more like mentally I feel better. Which is crazy. That something in your body could do that to you. And then I'm like super open and honest with my dad. And he was so funny. He was like, who told you not to go on the bar? And I was like, you did. Because a long time ago, he really did tell me not to do that. And he just said that like, you shouldn't be putting things in your body because your body could reject them. And like, your body's not used to having things in you, which now I like totally understand. My dad is like the goat, by the way. I love my dad so much. But um, yeah, so I actually do like the pill so much more. Originally, I didn't go on the pill because I didn't think I was responsible enough. I didn't think I was like responsible enough to take a pill every single day at the same time and not miss it. But now that I'm 22 and a half, actually, yesterday I turned 22 and a half. Yesterday was my half birthday. No wonder why I had such a good day yesterday. It was my half birthday. But anyways, um, I don't even really consider half birthdays like a thing. I don't really celebrate those or anything. I just realized, but I'm not that crazy, I swear. But anyways, so... 
yeah i just kind of wanted to give you guys an update because i knew like honestly you guys are commenting some things about this birth control that i just went on that's like kind of freaking me out but so far so good so yeah i mean i just don't know ideally it'd be nice to not be on birth control at all but i don't want children anytime soon so there's not an option for that but anywho so i pretty much finished cleaning i decided that vacuuming at 8 p.m. would probably be a disservice to the people below me and beside me who probably just want to have a relaxing Monday night. So I'm going to end up doing the floors and stuff tomorrow and probably wiping down because I like to vacuum first before I like wash the floors. And then honestly, it's just like I'm tired. I want to go lay in bed and work. So I think I'm going to end the vlog. I also wanted to say thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sending me those super cute jewelry items that I got to share with you guys. I love them so much. I'm so obsessed. Those are going to be my statements. See me wearing those all the time now. And don't forget to check out the description box for everything you need to know. If you're interested in purchasing some, that way we can twin or match or however you want to do that with me. But my camera is actually on 2%, so that's kind of bad for me. I'm going to actually end the vlog now, so make sure you guys are subscribed and you stick around and join the fam. Grant, I almost said Cabo. We're not going there. Grand Cayman vlogs are on the way super, super soon. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a pack with me. So yeah, all good things, all fun things happening over here. I love you guys so much. Have a great night and I will see you guys in my next video.